the night team, a Johnston man is breathing a sigh of relief tonight as Rhode Island moves closer to requiring the safe storage of firearms. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leanna Falk. His 16 year old son was shot and killed by a friend in a home without adult supervision. The night team's Maya Levine joins us live now from the state house with those details. Molly. Yeah, Leanna, similar laws are already in place in our neighboring states, Connecticut and Massachusetts. But the father of Dylan Veens has been fighting for the past two years to get a bill passed here, and he's still not done yet. I cry all the time. I lost, lost who I am. I just fight for Dylan. 16-year-old Dylan Veens of Johnston shot and killed. In this house on the second floor. On February 12, 22, due to unlocked guns. Police say Mario's Curios lived here, but wasn't home at the time of the shooting. Curios allegedly had firearms at his home that were not stored safely. Investigators say a teenager pulled the trigger of one, killing Dylan. His father has been fighting for stronger gun laws since, bringing his story to the Rhode Island State House. I'm not trying to take anybody's guns away, but I promise you, if somebody in your family lost a kid due to unlock guns, you're going to lock your guns up after this. It's gun safety. It's common sense. While fighting for the bill to pass, he also got to understand the reason why people are against it. If you're home and you're worried about somebody kicking your door or whatever, well, yeah, put your gun on your table where you know where it's going to be. You're home. Protect yourself. I'm not telling you not to protect yourself. But believes there's no reason to keep a gun out if you're not home. That's the whole point of this law. The law is to protect our children of Rhode Island. Governor Dan McKee is expected to sign the bill into law next week. It requires all firearms to be stored in a locked container or equipped with a tamper-resistant mechanical lock when not in use. Currently, Rhode Island punishes those who leave a gun where a child can get to it, but only if it's loaded and causes an injury. Every step that we can make uh, that can help uh, create a safer state, I'm on board with. David Veen says it's a small win in his fight, and he's not done yet. The teen who allegedly shot his son was charged with manslaughter, and Kyrgios is facing misdemeanor charges. He's calling on investigators to find out why the trigger was pulled and pushing for stronger charges. The guy Mario Kyrgios is walking around with misdemeanors. They should be felonies. And Kyrgios is due back in court next week, and the father of Dylan Veen says it's been a very long journey, but says he could not do it without the support from Moms Demand Action. It's a group that helped him along the way. I'm live from Providence tonight, Molly Levine, NBC 10 News 19.